Hey guys, uh, I'm just now getting out of my Christmas card editing rush slash like wedding editing rush. So I finally have time to do some more YouTube videos and do some sewing, which I'm super excited about. Uh, a lot of you said that you wanted to talk about my sewing plans and I normally don't plan a whole lot. Uh, I plan a lot in my regular life and in my work. So sewing is kind of like a flying by the seat of my pants thing that I figured I would try to get a good plan together for you guys. Um, so let me know if you like this and I can kind of continue to do it. I just need you guys to promise me that you're not going to hold me accountable for not sewing some of the things that I have planned. Okay, so first things first, um, I made this little binder which I really need to decorate and make it pretty. Uh, but I basically just opened up pages on my computer and made like this little template. I just used boxes and uh, little fonts and you know, so that's what I'm gonna use. I like to write things out. It's really helpful for me and um, all my stuff for work is online. So this is a way for me to plan without having to like be on my computer necessarily, which I am very much into. I am, in my 30s for those of you who don't know and uh, when you turn 30 your back just kind of starts dying <laughs> so I have had to set up this whole desk situation for my photography work and I kind of use it for sewing stuff now too um, you can see my serger and my other sewing machine in the corner uh, but I need to you know try to limit my desk time <laughs> if I can those of you who are not in your 20s will understand, or those of you with bad backs will get it. Um, me and my chiropractor have been best friends this month. But so I like having something that I can do that is not sitting at my desk. I can just like throw it in my bag and like work on it whenever I get the chance. And so uh, we'll talk about the first project that I'm going to do. And I, this is the only one I've really filled out so far. And look at my beautiful drawing you guys amazing um i'm going to make a fur jacket i was at target and i saw a fur jacket i really liked and it was 40 dollars. and that's not like it's faux fur by the way i wouldn't buy real fur uh but 40 bucks i don't know it's just fake fur i'm not gonna spend money that kind of money on what is essentially plastic so uh, I went to, I have like a creative reuse thrift store in my area. It's called Scrap It Up. Uh, and they have all kinds of fabric that's been donated and they sell that fabric to support the store and to support an arts um, association in the area. And they have a big bin of faux fur. And so I was like, let me go see if I can see anything that'll uh, work for what I'm using it for. A lot of the pieces were really small, but um, I found this huge piece of faux fur. Is it the nicest faux fur in the world? No. Is it on par with stuff that I could buy at Joann's? Yes. Was it $3 a pound? Yes. So like, it was a deal. Uh, it kind of looks like my dog. <laughs> so I'm having a real Cruella de Vil moment. But I'm going to make up the um, fur jacket pattern. It's a free pattern. It's by Designs by Lindsay. And I'll put a picture on the screen here. Um, it just seemed cute, seems simple. It's a yard and a half of lining and a yard and a half of fur. So I have um, enough to make two and I'm gonna make one for my boudoir studio because hello, like fur is pretty sexy when you put a naked lady underneath. So, and then I'm gonna make one for me. Uh, but I figured I would just make what I think is my size for the boudoir studio and then I would try it on and see how it goes. Uh, but I'm kind of nervous about sewing with fur. I've never sewed with it before. I know it's very messy and I don't want to um, kind of jack up the situation here, but we'll see. I don't have a great track record with fabrics with nap, but I'll try to be extra mindful. But I have three yards of this, so I expect there to be lots of faux fur. I also picked up the lining fabric from that um, craft thrift store. And I think this is a curtain lining. So again, like it's not gonna breathe. It's a polyester. Um, I don't know if I have enough of this for two, but enough for one. And it's a pretty pale pink. I mean, this is 
on brand for me. Pale pink has always been my color. Uh, but yeah, so I have lining, kind of crinkly. And again, I'm not worried about it breathing too much because I'm not wearing a fur jacket for the breathability of it. I'm wearing it because uh, it's bougie as hell and I want to stay warm. So that's my first kind of snuggly thing that I'm making. On the flip side, I bought um, some silk fabric at the, uh, I think it's called the Sewing Expo. They go all around, but I got it from, I think it was Vogue Fabrics. So here is the silk I got from Vogue Fabrics. It's kind of like a periwinkle, like slubby texture. I got two or three yards. I don't remember and I don't feel like unwrapping it right now. Uh, but I want to make a silk top with this and it's kind of heavier. It's kind of stiffer. I'm gonna pre-wash it because we don't dry clean in this family. So whatever it looks like when it comes out of the wash is what we're going with. I know it's gonna change the texture a little bit, uh, but you know what, I'm fine with that. I would prefer something more washable than less, but it is 100% silk, which I don't normally sew with. And it wasn't super cheap. I think I spent like 30 bucks on it, but it, it wasn't super expensive. And there's enough here for me to do a couple things. I was thinking about making a tank. Uh, I haven't picked out a pattern for it. If you guys have a recommendation for me, I would love it. Um, I've made the Ogden cami, but I had to do so many alterations to get it to like work for me that I don't know if I want to make it again. Um, I know that there's a couple other patterns that might work better, but if you have something in mind, let me know. Um, but yeah, that's kind of something that I want to work with here shortly. I also want to make a fleece sweater. I've made the patterns for Pirates Relaxed Raglan like a hundred times. We had a moment with that like a couple winters ago, but uh, I don't know if I want to sew that one either just because I've sewn it so much. So the fabric that I have for that is this really inexpensive Buffalo check uh, fleece. It's super soft. I have three yards of it so I could make two sweaters even if I wanted. I need your guys' help though. What is your favorite sweater and pattern that you would recommend for me that I could make in a fleece? So I think fleece is only two-way stretch, so it can't be a four-way stretch. Um, and please remember that I'm thick as hell, so <laughs> I need a pattern that has a good size range. Um, I'm normally like one size above every indie size range that isn't inclusive, so please keep that in mind when you recommend things to me. I'm not gonna buy a pattern that isn't drafted for my body. Like we discussed a while ago. I'm just, I'm not gonna do it. And it's killing me because I really, really, really want the Gertie um, day and night dress, which is like the choose your own adventure pattern, but it is one size too small for me. Could I grade it up? A hundred percent. Could I make it fit me? Yes. I'm not gonna pay $30 for something that I have to do grading on because like that's, what I'm paying you to do. And it's like, it's a vintage pattern and I get it. Like I've graded vintage patterns because there's like no other option, but this is somebody who is actively making things and I really want it. But if I don't get it, I don't get it. I've come to terms with that. But yeah, recommend me something to sew with this very fuzzy fleece. Also, I love green on me. I love a lot of colors on me, but green and this is just, I don't know. This is like very holiday to me. I also have a little bit of decor sewing, which I normally don't do, but uh, we have started the trend on kind of like scaling back how much we decorate uh, for Halloween, especially because Halloween, I, I go a little bit crazy. And uh, it's just, it was getting too much to store. So we've decided to, I mean, this Halloween, I didn't break out a lot of the decorations that we have. And I think next year I'm gonna go through the boxes that I didn't open up and kind of donate things. Uh, but what we did really enjoy was having like seasonal pillows. And I got some pillows from the Hall or Halloween pillows from the Target dollar spot. And they were great. And I like them. I got a couple Christmas ones, but nothing like super like me. So I found this, which again, doesn't scream holiday, but it's got, you know, little holiday sayings, uh, good tidings to you, comfort and joy, let the sleigh bells ring. And there was a pillow that I liked. I can't remember if it was that Chip and Joanna line, uh, which is always the most basic stuff and it's always so much more expensive. It's like, oh, it's a ticking pillow. Like ticking's a utility fabric. Go buy a yard of it and make a pillow. But so I got this and I think I'm just gonna back it with like 
I don't know, maybe a fleece or a felt just in black or red or green. And I'm gonna make a couple pillows with that. And this is from a pack of Joanne Fat Quarters. And there's a couple other fabrics that I like in it. Um, I like this. I'm more into like green and whites for holidays. I'm not a huge red person for decor. Um, there is this buffalo check in there that I don't mind that. But it, it doesn't like scream Christmas to me. It just looks like, I don't know, a plaid shirt, which I guess is super holiday for some people, but not for me. And I also kind of like this one. It's a little like vintage looking wreath set. And there's some red in there, but the main things are green and white. So I'm into it. We'll see if I get to it. I bought it because it was on super sale. It was like a doorbuster at Joann's and I had to go in to the Joann Viking Sewing Gallery, which is like one of the furthest Joann's from me, which is stupid because I live in a city center and uh, I got an extension table for my new machine. Uh, so yeah, that is kind of what I have planned. I also have a stretch goal, which is funny because none of these are goals. If I sew them, I sew them. And if I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna stress out about it. I would love people to recommend me a coat pattern. I, I prefer like simple coats, nothing fancy. It can even be unlined, but I wanna know what you guys like have been sewing and what you like. Again, remember, it needs to fit my thickness. Uh, I would really appreciate anything that you guys have for me. Um, I'm probably gonna sew the fur jacket first cause I have everything for it and the pattern was free and I'm sounding cheap as hell, which I kind of am, but come on guys free patterns. I have a thousand patterns. I don't need to be buying more patterns right now. Um, unless you guys have a really good recommendation and then I'll break that rule. <laughs> but yeah, just let me know what you guys think. Uh, this is my first really planning video, so to speak. Did it work? Were you enthralled? Was it terribly boring? Let me know. Um, I can't wait to show you guys what I make and show you some more sew along videos. Until then, keep stitching.